Sound Design. Yeah. Module five of Pro Audio Workshop Seeing Sound is all about crossover alignment. And crossover alignment could be a spatial crossover, so where two speakers are meeting at equal levels. So maybe you've got your main and your front fill, or your main and your main, or your main and your delay, or your relay and your relay, things like that. So that's actually a point in space. Or maybe you have a spectral crossover that uses a spectral divide. So maybe you have your main, which covers uh, you know, the top end of the frequency spectrum, and then you have your sub, which covers the bottom end, or maybe you know, your mid-frequency driver and your high-frequency driver within a cabinet. So that would be a spectral crossover. So in this first lesson here, I'm basically just going to describe the difference between polarity and phase, because I know uh, these get confused a lot, and um, I just don't want you guys to ever say, phase reversal anymore. No, I'm just kidding. That's not the most important thing, just understanding the difference between polarity and phase. Some rules of thumb to avoid when delay setting. I've tried a lot of things in the past that have not worked, and I want to tell you what those are. Lesson 5.1 is how to find spatial crossover points. And this could be a simple process of just picking up your microphone and moving it until you find where two sources arrive at equal level and then you have to set the time or something like that but we can also look at our designs and there's a process for estimating those locations so when we get in the field we don't just have to you know spend half an hour moving our microphone around we can look at our design and say okay it should be about here let's just verify that uh, setting a spatial crossover with our eyes so this is um, using a laser distance measure Sending a spatial crossover with our ears. So this could be um, potentially using something like a click track or a metronome. Try to find and align the delay times between two different speakers or two different sources. And then we do the same thing with our analyzer. One of the easiest things to do with our analyzer. The hard thing is really finding the right measurement position. All right, now we're gonna get into the spectral crossover. And first we need to decide what is the spectral crossover point we're going to use. And then from there we'll have a spectral crossover region. And that's where, you know, one driver hands off coverage to the other driver. And the main says, all right, sub, you take over from here. Can we do the same thing with our ears? Can we just listen to maybe a sine wave or a warble test tone and set the delay between our main and our subs just by listening to it? And then in this next lesson, we're going to do the same thing, but with our analyzer. Uh, some extra content here because this can get kind of complicated. And then the last lesson is subs on an aux. Will it ruin us? Will it ruin our show? How do we set that up properly? And these are all of the lessons in module five. And it's the most important stuff I know about to help you set your spatial and your spectral crossovers, so you know your, uh, how you set the timing for a delay speaker and how you set the delay between your main and your sub so that um, when that kick hits, it's gonna be really strong and powerful. Oh, I forgot, there's one more lesson and it's all about what to do for showtime. So not only can we use our measurement um, system, our audio analyzer, for system setup and sound check, but we can keep measuring throughout the entire show. And I talk about the process to make sure that you have actionable data and then how to know what to do if things change during the show. People are often asking what could potentially change in the sound system when the room fills up with people? What if the temperature changes? What if humidity changes? So that's what we cover in this lesson. And then this is the final lesson where you'll schedule your last call with me. I, I forgot, I didn't mention the other modules, but in module one and module three, there is a link to schedule a call with me. This is where we're gonna check in. So we're at the end of the course here. You'll schedule your last call with me. And this is also where you're going to get your uh, certificate that then if you want, you can add to your website, to your email um, signature, to your uh, LinkedIn, to all your social media profiles because not a lot of people make it all the way to the end of this course. I just wanna recognize you for completing the course and I wanna make sure that you get a certificate 
and you have something to show off because I think it's really an amazing achievement to um, complete a course something of this magnitude okay this isn't something you can just get done in one day and you're going out into the world and, and attempting to actually integrate it into your work that's the behind the scenes look at pro audio workshop scene sound if you have any questions about this still trying to decide if maybe it's the right choice for you feel free to reach out to me nathan at sounddesignlive.com otherwise i'll see you on the inside sound design Live.